Well, it actually started the Monday before I came into work. Glenn was doing evenings, I was doing morning and noon. And I'm looking at all the data, looking at the maps, and I'm, I'm looking at this, this low down in the Gulf, this high pressure, this cold air, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Because Glenn, Glenn was really a great snow forecaster. I mean, he had worked in Minneapolis. He, he knew snow, and he had been teaching me some things. And I, I looked at that, and I said, oh my goodness. So I left him a note that day, and I said, Glenn, have you seen this? And he leaves me a note that night, so when I come in the next morning, I see, he said, absolutely, this is coming. We're going to get it. This is going to be huge. So every day, going through the models, looking at everything, we get to Thursday. I shop, pack the house full of whatever groceries are necessary. I have a truckload of firewood so that if the power goes out, I have a gas fire, not a gas fireplace, but a regular fireplace, so there'll be firewood. I call my babysitter. I said, you're staying at my house for the week. I don't know when I'm going to be home. Call her boyfriend on Thursday night. What are you going to do Friday night when you get off of work? He said, I don't know. I do. You're coming to my house, and you are going to help Stephanie take care of my children. And if the power goes out, I had the neighbors ready to come get everybody to take care of them. So I leave Friday afternoon. It was like after 4. I come to the station. It was in the white columns, the old building. And in the ladies' rooms back then, they had sitting rooms with sofas. That was my hotel. <laughs> I had everything I needed, my sleeping bag, and I slept in that suite in, in, the, in the ladies' room. So Glenn is on the air in the evening. I come out and we talk with him for a little bit. And then at 4 o'clock, I'm on the air here at Channel 2. It hasn't made its way to Atlanta yet. But within a few hours, it starts. And the snow falls, and it falls, and it falls. And it continues to blow, and the winds get strong. We had 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Reporters couldn't even stand up on the street. They were being blown over, and the snow just continued to come down. And then we had thunder. We had thunder snow. I had never been through thunder snow in my entire life. What is that? It's, it's a convective energy like you would have in a thunderstorm. But it's with a snow shower, with a snowstorm. And so there is thunder. They had it in New York not too long ago. Just a few days ago, they had thunder snow. So we're watching all this and all the video. We had a reporter who got stuck up at the Cahuta Lodge for two weeks. They had so much snow. At my house, we had over a foot and a half of snow. Here in Atlanta, there was only four inches. But it just was unbelievable with power out. Uh, normally, Channel 2 always has food catered in when we're here doing round the clock work. Um, everything shut down. There was nothing. And so we were on our own for about 24 hours here without food. But it was an act absolutely tremendous event. So I'm on the air at four. The snow continues. We're a wall to wall coverage. It's, it's, I don't know that we'd ever done wall to wall coverage before like this. We just did not go off the air. And uh, the pictures that were coming in, uh, I think up at the Cahuta Lodge, uh, Joyce Oscar was our reporter there. She and her photographer got snowed in at the lodge, and they, they, they couldn't get out. For two whole weeks, they could not get out of the lodge. She had a baby girl. I think she might have been three months old. And they brought her and her husband to the station and showed her video of her baby and her husband because she couldn't come home all that time because they couldn't get in. And they had to fly in, chop her in some uh, extra supplies and diapers and things like that from people who were stuck at the lodge. It was an amazing so how event. How long were you here? How long till you went home? And I'm trying to remember in my mind. I know that I was here through Wednesday. So Thursday, I think I finally got to go home. What was that like? It was like a winter wonderland. There was snow everywhere. The interstates were fine at that point, but going in the neighborhood, I had to come up a hill. It was still a little dicey. And when I got out of the car, there was, there was probably a foot and a half of snow at my house. And my girls, who'd been there with the babysitter, they had built two snow people, and they were holding signs that said, Welcome home, Mommy. It was just, it was just the sweetest moment. And in order to talk, we didn't have cell phones back then. We had the big hunking ones. But I had a, a pager, and my sitter would page me, and she would say, You know, your girls want to say goodnight. So I would talk to them after I called, and then that, that was it. But I didn't get to see them at all during that time. 
Kimberly was five, Leanne was two and a half. So Blizzard of 93 is one that I will never forget. And it really showed me what a great family we have here at Channel 2. Uh, it was almost like a party atmosphere. People were so excited with what they were seeing out there. We were covering the story, but it was so much fun and so unbelievable that we had that much snow in Atlanta. And everything shut down. Even the grocery stores were closed until they could get supplies in. What is your, if you had to choose one memory of that whole week, I mean, what is just the one thing that sticks out in your mind? Watching Jeff Dore on Peachtree Street with these winds over 65 miles an hour as he's hanging on to a pole being blown sideways. <laughs> and the reporters and the photographers trying to stand up with all the gear they were carrying. It was amazing to see how they covered all of it. Hard to believe it's been 25 years. That's really the defining weather event in my life. And I've been through hurricanes and other snowstorms. I mean, Snowmageddon when the interstates were completely shut down, that was pretty phenomenal too. But storm of the century, blizzard of 93, that was my very first huge event.